Okay, uh, let's look at the homework 8.5, 10.1, problem number 6. All right, so we want to uh, evaluate this indefinite integral. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so first thing uh, we need to do is uh, uh, remember uh, antiderivative of, say, secant squared of theta, d theta, is uh, tangent of theta. Right, plus some constant c. Also, um, antiderivative of uh, tangent of theta with respect to theta is uh, negative natural log of absolute value of cosine of theta plus constant c. Or equivalently, uh, we can incorporate this negative to up here, so it's going to be reciprocal cosine. It's positive natural log of absolute value of uh, secant of theta plus c. Right? Uh, you can use either one. Right? So uh, here, first thing first, uh, we're going to place this 4 right in front. So we can have uh, is equal to 4. Uh, integral, right? I'm going to go ahead and multiply this out. So 1 squared is 1. 2 times 1 times tangent is 2 tangent of theta plus uh, tangent squared of theta. So tangent squared of theta, right? With respect to theta, right? Then we notice that uh, one of the uh, trig identity, uh, 1 plus tangent squared, is actually equal to secant squared of theta. Right? So uh, we can take the antiderivative. Right? Take the antiderivative of secant squared is tangent plus. 2 times antiderivative of tangent is, um, we can use uh, natural log of absolute value of secant of theta, right? Then plus some constant c, right? So uh, let's type it in. Right, we found 4 times, right, tangent of uh, theta. Right, oh, I put the wrong, uh, right, tangent of theta, right, plus natural log of absolute value of secant of uh, theta. Maybe I can just, uh, theta, okay, All right, plus some constant c. All right, let's uh, submit for testing. All right, it came back, it came out wrong because I didn't put two there. Um, so here, all right, let's check again. Sorry about that. Uh, submit for testing. All right, uh, it came back and looks like we got this one correctly. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.